my name is uh, Cédric Jonin, I'm from Soprasteria. Uh, we are coming here to the hackathon because actually we're providing uh, IT and consulting services both to the Ministry of Finance and Ministry of Interior. So uh, I think we're a natural, uh, let's say, contractor for, the, for those two ministries. So I've been working on the, on the challenge with my team regarding the interdiction of access to a football stadium for violent supporters. And we devise a solution mostly focused on the quick wins that we can book at short time, uh, meaning that based on the actual information that they have, we think that we can build uh, very quickly uh, an IT system that will leverage the existing knowledge and the EID card to uh, prevent people that have uh, are forbidden to access stadium to actually enter the, those, uh, those stadiums. And we've, device, uh, we've designed this solution, let's say, to uh, make it also uh, flexible and future-proof, meaning that uh, we believe that based on that we can do data analytics and bring also added value in terms of risk management, profiling of supporters, and also uh, we've foreseen to include the EIDAS uh, protocol so that we can also check the uh, electronic ID of uh, foreign supporters because that's also an issue in Belgium. There are some Dutch and German supporters that are coming also to to football match because they cannot access the stadium in their own country. So we want also to provide these additional features. And I think the jury really like those uh, those additional features that we design. Another one also that we design based on this citizen-centric approach of the hackathon is um, a web app to allow uh, supporters to check whether or not they are forbidden to enter stadium. At the moment, they, they are just calling the Ministry of Interior and we thought it would be good also to provide this kind of uh, nice application for them, very useful application. The challenge is more for the long-term solution that we've devised, which is based on facial recognition, so more artificial intelligence and so on. The technology is there, but the legal framework is not there yet. So for sure, there we, we, we estimate that it would take two or three years to get everything sorted out from a legal perspective, and we want it also to provide them a, really a short-term solution. So that's why we we really focus on the quick wins rather than trying to de design the, the long-term solution. We just make sure that the foundation are well designed so that they are flexible for the future. So all in all, um, the challenge are quite limited. We, we've tried to really avoid any uh, showstopper, let's say, in the project. Will it take a long time? To, to implement. Yeah. We believe that we can do a pilot in within three months, so it can be still tested within this uh, season of uh, uh, football matches. So if the Ministry of Interior is ready to start, we can start next month and have something ready by uh, early next year.